doing? I've already We're going to Alexander Super Sabarov to Let's ask see him. If we can go to into the house where the guy was murdered. Okay, okay. It's like his house has been set on fire. It does look like it. That house is getting built. Yeah. You can see a good economy. I'm going to sneak up on him. He didn't see me coming up top. Hi. <laughs> oh. This Haruspex is trying to prove his innocence. It's a no-go. Oh, I finally get to see you. Yes, you look like a messenger of sorrowful times. In any case, welcome to the Rod. Our meeting is quite significant in a way. Facing the changes with open eyes and taking the first blow is my duty. You think we're on the verge of an un especially unhappy era? No grave events have clouded our existence since last summer. The country has cured its war wounds. Commercial communications have been repaired. Astrologists think nothing, expect nothing ill. Do you hold astrologists' opinion high in your regard? In high regard? Mm. Um, the movement of the planets has an obvious effect on our effect on our life. However, I do not think it's humanly possible to gain any profit from that. I don't feel like the movement of planets has any effect on our life. Probably not. Apart from maybe the, the moon gravity. Being all wishy-washy with the sea. I am a ruler. Astrology can be very curious, but I cannot allow it to influence my decisions. I have to act according to factual circumstances. Would you agree? Sure. My chest yeah. hurts. Can it be conscience? So you've come to meet with Simon, haven't you? What can I do for you now? I was actually invited by Isidore. Isidore. He has been murdered. Yes, looks like the murderer is always one step ahead of you, doesn't it? The same one that took Simon's life too. At least that's what the conclusion suggested by the information at my disposal. Same pattern, same signature. So who did it? You wouldn't believe it, his own son. The fellow came back after being away for quite a while. His father has sent him to study surgery when he was but a greenhorn. <laughs> quite a lot has learnt has ah, a wandering scholar turned evil to the bone. All of that just to grab the inheritance. How did you do that? Bone. In all honesty, it's quite explained. Do you it's believe? Quite <laughs> I don't. Well, you should see my wife. <laughs> She's <laughs> see through. Um, so your wife called out Isidore's son specifically? Mm, not specifically, no, but specifically, yes. But it all adds up, and the circumstances of Simon's death make you wonder, too. Isildur's son arrived here last night. The timing speaks against him, even if it it even matches the time it takes to get away f to get from the crucible to Isidore's house. That's not enough. I'll <laughs> do it. There are very few good analysts in our town. Everyone is more or less superstitious here, except for one Yulia Luri. Lurichiva, perhaps a most level-headed and responsible, reasonable person. The person to remain skeptical, um, skeptical, skeptical about Katerina's talents too. Without a shadow of a doubt, she has her own picture of events. She always does. <laughs> <laughs> what exactly is a Yulia? Oh and no, that's Yulia. actually what he said. <laughs> oh. What is this, Yulia? She came here with an engineering team and the uh, town was being rebuilt. Did logistics or maybe communications, not sure. They said she's a true expert in her field. Smart? Yes. A polymath. Yes, then the multiple team. Maths. <laughs> multiple maths going on at the same time. <laughs> Very yeah, well, I'll yeah. go chat. Yeah. So for those of you who are unawares, 
I have injured myself on an epic scale. I was at my martial arts class when I decided um, that I would land on my shoulder instead of not landing on my shoulder. And I have torn some internal tissue. And I find it really difficult to move my arm now. Although by the time this video comes out, maybe I'll feel better. Maybe I'll be alright. But, um, yes. It was stupid of me. And I'm a fool for doing it. But, that's not why there's been no videos. Innocent and I have just been really busy. Um... Uh, it was Christmas time at my work, and I work in retail, so Christmas time is the busiest time. And Innes had some pretty dang busy moments. There were some pretty big bands that had after parties where he worked, so... Wowee. What a busy time to be alive, am I right? Um... But yeah, we did do something that may be out somewhat soon, maybe. But I don't know when. My arms are flaccid, as if made of cotton wool. What the fuck is that? <laughs> what did you just say? My arms are flaccid, as if made of cotton wool. My chest seems to be filled with cotton wool. I am cotton wool. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she'll say it again. Go speak to her and it turns out her name I'm is afraid I'm of little use now. I should let some fresh air into the room, but uh. I don't feel like it. <laughs> <laughs> it's so lonely here. I seem to have lost any capacity for cotton wool. My mind is out of tune no longer. Things no longer add up. Before I had no trouble forming a trustworthy tessellation of the most imperceptible contingencies. Now I simply cannot get my head out of the cotton wool. Could it be that I'm cotton wool? <laughs> this step here is know, way... This is going to make me sound silly, or possibly even thick. But some of the language that the character using this is like... I have no idea what that means. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, know what... Well. Im what's imperceptible? Imperceptible. That's a hard word to say. They're not imperceptible, so you Oh, maybe. Imperceptible. Yeah, that makes more sense. It happens when you're tired. You probably haven't slept for a while. Oh no. Herbert Vreen is in blossom. I grant you. But then it blooms every year. Every year this step is filled with this stupefying vapors. <laughs> the issue I'm having, however has nothing to do with fatigue or perplexity. It's just that I've lost my ability to make distinctive events coincide. Everyone has that. Huh? No. What? Like, what? What's she chatting about? She's feeling like cotton wool. I think she's a heroin addict. Oh, right. What herb is that? No matter what prenatural traits the locals ascribe to it, twire is all he heady aroma, a bunch of superstitions and remarkably little else. It has psychoactive properties after a fashion. But it so does. But then so does simple wormwood. Visions caused by indigestion of cotton wool are much more <laughs> fascinating <laughs> than what <laughs> 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 